Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Amazon's new film, Birds of Paradise. And this ballet-centric film is from director Sarah Adina Smith, who has previously done work on things like Room 104, and this is starring Diana Silvers and Christine Froseth as Kate and Maureen, who are these two young women at this elite academy for ballet in Paris, and they soon build a bond, and then, of course, rivalry and contention rips it apart. Drama. And that's what you get in this film, and you also have Jacqueline Bissett, who plays the head of this academy, and Vincent D'Onofrio, at least you hear his voice as he's speaking to his daughter, played by Diana Silvers in the film, and... Diana Silvers is a really strong lead here. There's definitely some good emotional moments that she gets to kind of flex her skills. I really liked her in her short but pivotal role in things like Booksmart. And you also have Christine Froseth, who does a fantastic job in this film. I'm not really familiar with a lot of the films that she's been in. This may be the first role that I've seen her perform, but like she gives a really strong performance and their chemistry and the friendship and the connection that they have, and then the contention that they have coming from very different backgrounds. You know, Kate's there on a scholarship being provided by Maureen's family. And there's a lot of contention there. You have Diane, I mean, you have Kate who's calling her father and having these uncomfortable and real conversations a lot of the time about her situation, trying to process things. And Kate's trying to adapt to this new lifestyle, this new place, this new country. And you have Bissette here, who's a great antagonist, who really fills that role of like a contentious, hard-nosed, like headmistress of a place really well. And she does it a lot of favors. In general, this film, from directed by Adina Smith, is slick. It's well shot. It's impressive in that way. It is very cliche and trope heavy. Nothing in this film really surprises you. You've seen this story before, you've seen it told in so many different ways, and you know, the performances are committed, it's really well shot. Um, for almost two hour film, I thought it moved relatively fine. There's, diff I, there's probably moments where it's like, could have moved on a little bit quicker or maybe didn't veer off for one extra little side note in the narrative, but like in general, I think it moves along pretty well. It's well shot, it's well acted. It's just, this film's not gonna surprise you. You've seen it before, like I said. You know what's gonna happen. You know what the themes are. You know how it's all gonna play out and what this is gonna mean in the end. So if you're perfectly fine with that and enjoy what you get, then enjoy it, and this will be a nice, easy stream for when it does a pop up on Amazon Prime. And if you want something deeper and more interesting and something new and fresh, you're not really going to get it from this. But there is enough well put together filmmaking here that it's still a worthwhile watch. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. Didn't like it a lot. I liked it. I thought it was a fine film. It did what it was trying to do, and it did it in an effective way. And sometimes, that's all you need with a film. Not everything needs to be Citizen Kane or The Godfather. So, this film is not The Godfather of ballet films. <laughs> it's no Suspiria. Either of them. But, this straight-up drama has tension, it has suspense, and maybe some of the twists might take you by surprise. Not, it didn't really take me by surprise. It kind of made a lot of sense and you could see those things coming pretty far away. But in the end, it's an enjoyable and effective film and it's right there. It's going to be on Prime. But those are my thoughts on Birds of Paradise. Let me know what you think. And let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.